All right, happy new year. First flight of 2023 after an extensive annual and me not flying in over a month. So we're just going to go out, do a little bit of uh, maneuvering and navigating and just see what happens. So taxing down to runway two, pretty much ready to go. Run up went fine. Don't anticipate any issues. A little windy, some crosswind gustiness from the west. Hopefully that won't be too much of an issue after a lack of practice, but we'll try. Doors and windows. Trim is set. Flaps are up. I'm squawking VFR. Ready to go. Concord Tower, Bonanza 8539 Mike, holding short of two, ready for departure. Bonanza. 8539 Mike, runway 2, clear for takeoff, and just remain runway heading for now. Uh, clear for takeoff, runway 2 for 39 Mike, remain runway heading. Alright. Full rich, full prop. Approach end is clear. Wind from the left, so we'll give it a little bit of left aileron. Center line. Airspeed alive, roll in the throttle. Right rudder, left aileron. Whoa. 60, 65, 70, rotate. She wants to fly. All right, positive rate, gears coming up. And he wanted us to maintain runway heading. So fine runway heading it is. All right, running really rich. Pull it back a little bit. Uh, Grumman 686, two mile right base, two zero. Two Ages mile green. Two. Grumman 086, runway two, clear to land. To land, runway two, 686. Traffic off to our right. That's the one he's keeping us straight for, I'm sure. But in the three nine mic, right turn on course proof. Here I might turn on proof, course proof. Concord Tower, Southern 6250, we are on that uh, right down one for runway 2, make sure. Southern 350, you're following a Grumman, he's uh, just passed off your nose there on the right base. Let me know if you see that traffic. Friend lives on the lake down here. We'll be looking for that traffic, 350. Going straight, might as well go over his house. Just to the east of the church, to the right of the church, and then we'll climb on up, make our turn. Go up towards the lake. Concord Tower, Roger 474 Tango Alpha, is about 10 miles out on the RNAV-2, and we have information right in India. Archer 474 Tango Alpha, Roger, right, report crossing up. is Sega. Right report heading. crossing is Sega, 474 Tango Alpha. 062 heading, it's going to take us right over Canapolis. So There's the 350, your traffic turning on to final now, short final there, about a quarter mile out. We got that traffic in sight now, 350. Says 350, number two, clear to land, runway two. Number two, clear to land, runway two, 350. Can we get a wind check, 350? Wind is now showing 290 at 8, occasional gust 1-4. Thank you. Grumman 
Gentlemen, 086, turn left at Delta. Taxi Alpha to the ramp. All right, left Delta, Delta Alpha to the ramp, 6086. Have a good day. We are out of Concord, so we're going to switch over to Open. I'm not sure I heard that. Or not. Let's put it on real end. Might as well be relevant if we're listening. Up to the southwest, transitioning rover, flying the field at 3,000, departing towards the northeast, the Carolina traffic. Uh, this field at 2,200, to join the 45, downwind of runway zero two. Climb on up to about 6,500, I think. Pacific 321 November Gulf. We're the PC 12 now, about oh, six miles from the field at 3,200 feet. Now we're out down to the southwest. The hold is probably, I think, will be above the inbound. Get a little heat. Now that the engine's warm. Ah, it's better. I can feel it coming. Smith Carolina Regional, Mooney 34 Hotel, taking 2 for departure. Bug is set. Make a slight correction. Keep it trimmed up so we keep climbing a little bit. Can't quite go to 65 because of the Charlotte Bravo shelf that's above us, but we're getting close. Mid Carolina Regional, uh, the Cessna 09 X ray, we're uh, going to depart runway 2, Mid Carolina to the north. Joseph County, November 419, Bravo Lima. Mid Carolina traffic 1740, Charlie, 3 miles to the Bravo south here. of the field. Uh, we're at 3000, crossing over the field and uh, transitioning out towards the northeast towards Davidson, Mid Carolina traffic. Somebody's ILS is loaded, so I'm going to get rid of that because it's annoying me. See what that does. All right, so we're about to cross out of the Bravo, and then we can have some. So we're out of Bravo, going to go up another little bit of altitude just for margin of safety. Still burning way too much fuel, so pull that back. Concord Tower, Cessna 6350, we are uh, holding short, runway 20. Looks like there's another Excuse plane ahead of us, so we're going to go a little higher than I planned. Cessna 350, hold short, runway 2 for landing traffic. Holding short for landing traffic, runway 2, 375, we're not that far away at this point. It's a beautiful day. Get our money's worth. All right, got plenty of fuel. Tanks are about even. I'm on the left tank now. Might switch when I head back in towards town. Taxi 
radar. Can we get into the wind check? Wind is uh, 290 at 8, and the gusts are showing up to 13. Thank you. All right, this will be fine. So we'll level off. Up to about 120 knots, maybe. And the plane disappeared. Great. Concord, Kona 202. Kona 202, Concord. Pull the power back. Kona 202 is, uh, what, about four miles to the no, northeast, descending inches. towards the speedway out of uh, 4.7 for landing runway 2. Kona 202, that'll work good. Uh, continue inbound for that right base runway 2. Set 75. Continue to the right base, Kona 202. Everything's stable. Concord Tower, right Challenger 985. Keely, Mike, we have uh, the airport in sight uh, visual. Pull the mixture back. Oh, I see the plane down below us now. I see he's just too low for ADSB. Number 985, Kilo Mike, enter a left base for runway two, and uh, you're clear to land. Left base for two, clear to land, right, five Kilo Mike. Good. All right. So, we're at 7,500 feet. We're approaching the lake. Might as well go ahead Cherokee and get the Cherokee 86 Romeo Tower. We are cruising at 150 knots. Go for it, Romeo. 86 Romeo, when you get over the speedway there, just turn left and enter an extended right downwind for me. Yes, sir. We will go ahead and enter an extended right downwind now. 86 Romeo. Roger, Kona 202. Be looking for a Cherokee. He's over the speedway currently about a mile and a half ahead of you. He's going to be extending that uh, right now, and I need you to extend right now and also. That's a power right downwind and look for the Cherokee. Kona 202. In Kona 202, there's actually two targets. Uh, the ones at your altitude, there's just south of you now, and he's a climbing 3,200 uh, southeast. He's a climbing. The one you need to follow, he's over the speedway at 1,700. All right, I've got the one uh, that I'm just passing. Uh, I'm looking for the one down by the speedway, Kona 202. Kona 202, Roger. How did I get back on Concord? Okay. Oh, first one, yeah. Row in. Right now, row in is off my left shoulder behind me. And Davidson County is off my left shoulder in front of me. So they're about we're about 45 degree angle from both of them. So we're about halfway in between. Over the lake. This is where I did all my private pilot training. Over the lake. All right. So I'm just going to test the autopilot a little bit. So I'm going to use my headache bug. And we're going to do a right. So there should be a standard rate turn, pretty much lined up with our white mark on the Aspen. Keep turning. When I get halfway, I'll roll it back to my initial heading. Keep turning. If I go too far, it might uh, start turning the other way. All right, so now we'll go back to, uh, yep, I overshot. I knew that was gonna happen. Well, I might as well roll out here then. Since I've screwed that up. Well, that worked well. We're still at 7,500. Let's go the other way. We'll go a left turn back to our original heading. That's interesting, we're not turning as steeply to the left, or at least it doesn't feel like it. Thank you, I traffic. So, uh, 7275 Charlie is three and a half to the southwest, transition to the southeast at 4,000. Thank you, Lionel. That's a question for the Lima, let's go. Thank you. So our standard rate turn to the left seems to be a little shallow, but we're turning. We're getting there. All right, about 15, 20 degrees to go. It's going to roll out. I 
now. Autopilot off. I'm going to fly. Delta Savage 240, Bravo. Four miles out. 45. Do land one way three. Delta Savage. Maintainer altitude. 30 degrees. Climbing a little. Oh, look at the beautiful lake. Beautiful day. And now we're starting to nose over a little bit. We'll pull back. Pretty steady. Thirty degrees. Holding steady. We left base three up. Thirty degrees, holding steady. Inside the plane, outside the plane. Right at seven thousand five hundred. Still right at thirty degrees. Uh, dropping a little bit. Pull back. Thirty degrees. Getting our altitude back. Looking good. Looking good, looking good. A little shallow there for a second. Johnson Travis 240, Bravo Lima, downwind Boom. 4, runway 3, Johnson Pretty good, that's the way it's supposed to be. Alright, still don't see any other aircraft around. I thought we'd do a right turn, we'll try to do a 45 degree turn. I don't do steep turns ever, but we'll try. So, go ahead and roll in. Go ahead and start pulling back a little prematurely this time, because it's going to feel steep to me. It's 45 degrees. And it wants to drop a little bit. Just back. Gonna go fast at this angle. Alright, lost a tiny bit of altitude, but we got it back. About three-fourths of the way around. Only lost about 40 feet. Oh, it's dropping again. Come on back. And here comes our original heading. Johnson, Johnson Starlet 240, Bravo Lima, base, runway 3, Johnson. And yeah, I lost 100 feet. So, in training, we would trim the airplane up a little bit or add power or both. But we're just flying for fun today, getting used to what the airplane feels like again. Right, so I'm going to turn a little bit to the east. Just because I want to. This is going to take us over Stanley's airspace. But we're pretty high. crazy over here, but it's a pretty day. Fly over the uh, the next lake down. Aiden Lake. Going to pull the power back a little more. Pull back to my airspeed we get.